right, gang. Thanks for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations. Bless you. Bless. So, real quick. All signs. I said I was going to post it. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> All signs. Just a quick past, present and future. Okay, so I'm going to start with Pisces. Pisces, sign of death. Rebirth. We are only ever one breath away from enlightenment. <clears throat> right. Priestess in the future, Pisces. Wow. Sun. First card. Page of Pentacles. Present energy. So you are in the energy of learning about something new. I'm getting a new job as I'm holding this energy. And the High Priestess. So, the Sun. Past. Page of Pentacles, present, future, High Priestess. So just a bit of clarification on the Page of Pentacles. Let's see what this is. High Priestess coming in, in the future. Which is you as well. Your card. Always important to remember that the High Priestess, she sits in the middle of the yin and yang pillars, the black and white pillars at the Temple of Solomon. Wow. So it definitely is you, Pisces, because clarifying the High Priestess, the moon. And the victory card for the Page of Pentacles. You're kidding me. So someone watching may have actually won something. Standing in your power with the sun. Okay. So past. The sun, two of wands. Present, page of pentacles, six of wands. Future, high priestess, the moon. So I am getting the word illumination, so I'm saying it. Subconscious inner knowing but definitely Pisces you are going to be standing in your power in the future leadership a victorious leadership wow so the last reading that I did for you which was an individual I said best reading I've ever had for you and it's great to see that energy continuing here in this small spread okay Pisces Big love. Lots of love. Take care. Let me just... Okay. Um, okay, Aries. Sign of birth. Let's see what's coming up for you, Aries. I did get temperance there on the cart, so interesting.
Okay, so past energy, harvesting. Are these pentacles worth? Is the juice worth the squeeze? I am copying there yeah, from a good friend of mine who's very good at reading tarot cards. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Are these pentacles? That isn't my phrase. That's what I said. It's his phrase. Are these pentacles, have these been worth harvesting? Hmm? In the past, you've been working on a harvest, but you've got this tower energy in your central energy. So, seems to me like you are going through one of those breakdown moments. Not necessarily an emotional breakdown, but just one of those inner funk. One of those moments where you don't quite know whether you're coming or going. Okay? But this is a great energy. This is divinely guided. These things have to happen. For the foundation you have been building was built incorrectly. A house built on shifting sands cannot stand. Intentionally. And you've got a great energy coming in in your future here. Three of Cups. Community. Teamwork makes the dream work. Lots to be shared. Lots to be learned. Lots to be completed together. Girls' night out. Or boys' night out. Wow, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. So I'm getting that that harvest was worth it. Because it's giving you choices. An abundance of choices. Yeah, tower moment with the Two of Pentacles. So that is literally... <laughs> the foundation's being shaken. Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So that is going to be a new beginning in a business idea that three of you, maybe more than three, have together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, super dupes. I'm going to pull one more card for you, Aries, just to see. Okay. Foundation. So, leading to our foundation. So who's next? Who's next? <laughs> Sorry, I've just got to write down the time. Okay. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. We know that you adore us. Knight in shining armour in your past the world in your present quality work three of pentacles being offered a job coming up in your future So clarifying that knight in shining armour, that that knight of love. We are getting love. I was going to say, because that could mean intuition, it could just mean a water sign. Well, it probably definitely does mean a water sign. Ten of Cups. Fortune after, after difficulty. Ultimate happiness. So you have had ultimate happiness brought to you by a knight in shining armour. Could be a woman, just because I'm saying. Wow, the world and the lovers in your current position. So it looks like there's a really good relationship going on there. If um, if this is resonating with you, Taurus, I hope so. Then stick with what you've got. And the Nine of Cups clarifying the Three of Pentacles. Wow, that's a pretty powerful reading for just six cards. To have the Ten and Nine of Cups. Fulfillment. Contentment. 
I'm going to pull one more card for you. And you can lay those burdens down. Ten of Wands. Okay, Taurus. Great. This this is the card that people most often want to see in their reading, the lovers. And you've got the lovers with the world. It's just big love. Big love. Big love is the words I'm getting for your reading. Okay, thanks Taurus, take care, lots of love, see ya, bye. Um, just, excuse me while I write down the time. Oh yeah, we're getting through them pretty quickly. Okay, Gemini, wow. Okay, so something has been moving quite slowly towards you. Okay, interesting. Knight of Pentacles. Something has been moving towards you quite slowly. But it's getting there because in your present energy you've got three keys and peace. the keys to unlock peace peace within and this is going to be helped by the ace of pentacles in your future position so to be at peace and to have clear mind clear thoughts and a clear heart is going to help bring this in and i think you have all of these things Okay, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, two aces, so that's yes to anything I haven't said already. So clarifying the three keys and peace, Queen of Swords, could be an air sign. The Queen of Swords sits with her back to the past, looking into the future. Okay. OK, and you've got the Three of Cups on the outro, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. OK. So community, party time. A beginning in a new team. That's what I'm getting. Yep, and a beginning in new work. That's what I'm getting there. Okay, Gemini, I hope I've been saying Gemini because that was for you, Gemini. And I've said it three times. No, I've said it three times. Thanks for being here. Take care. Lots of love. Peace be the journey of life. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, Cancer, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I hope this reading finds you well. Wow. Okay. Okay, so past position, Eight of Pentacles, work. Working on something. Working on maybe just one thing. Page of Cups in your current energy. So that's a nice loving energy being in touch with your inner child. That's clarified by the Page of Wands. So definitely something to do with inner child work. Maybe shadow work that you're currently going through. Oh, and clarifying the Ace of Pentacles was the Seven of Wands. Standing in your power, the ability to defend yourself at the top of a hill. Okay, this doesn't mean aggression. This means standing in your power peacefully. Okay. And in your outro energy, your future energy, 
Ding dong. Mm -hmm. Some sort of balance. Um, a celebration. Um, it is the card of marriage. But I'm not necessarily getting marriage. Could be, if it resonates with you. But um, I'm definitely getting balance. That this union, the union that you are thinking of right now, Cancer, is going to bring balance. A union of justice. Okay? Big time. I'm just going to pull one more card. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. So everything you've ever wanted in your life is going to come through from this union, from this balance that you have been working on because you've gotten in touch with your inner child. And I'll just show you those again. No. Okay, Cancer. Take care, lots of love. Peace be the journey of life. Okay, we're getting through them rapido. This is exactly what I intended. It was my intention to get through this in under an hour, which I definitely think we might even get in, in within half an hour. Okay, interesting, interesting. So I am getting the feeling that these two energies are coming together. This fire sign, this water sign are coming together. King of Wands, Queen of Cups. Okay? I think you are represented by the King of Wands here. And the chances are it could be a water sign. But it could be any sign. Don't get too hung up on the signs. Okay, central energy, jackpot city, supported by the Nine of Pentacles. Independence. And abundance. Okay. Independence and abundance. And jackpot. Because we all want to get to jackpot city. Okay, Leo. And this Quantum Leap card and the Emperor. So Quantum Leaping into Emperor type energy, being organised, being... Okay, the word frugal has just popped in, so I'm saying that. Not being too controlling, actually being quite relaxed. And allowing things to be as they are in the future. But after having gotten to Jackpot City and getting your Nine of Pentacles, you will feel like this. You will be in the energy of the Emperor. Which is Aries, but I'm not necessarily getting that. But that might resonate with someone watching. I'm just going to put one more card for you. Yes, travel. Okay. Travelling to new destinations, overseas. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for being here, Leah. Lots of love. Peace be the journey of life.
Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's coming up for you. Wow, that one wanted to fly out. Wow, interesting. Okay, Virgo, so I just did Leo, and you do have Leo showing up in your last clarifying position, so just wanted to say that. Underneath Aquarius. That might mean something to a Leo watching. Uh, to a Virgo watching, sorry. King of Cups. In your past energy... So I think that you've had, uh, you've just gotten away from a troubled relationship. That's the energy I'm getting from here. In the past. But you are currently in the energy of illumination, all seeing, all knowing. Working on your inner treasure. Working on the treasure inside of you which will lead to treasure outside of you. As above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. Okay? The star. Healing, which can mean healing. But in this instance, I think it's like actually being famous. Not necessarily standing on a stage, but just being really well known for what you do in the community in which you do it. Could be standing on stage though. Strength. Because you have shown strength. Okay, Virgo. Let me just pull you one more card. Oh, wow. Jackpot City just showed itself there. So big time. Big time energy off that. Just like the Leo reading similar kind of big time energy thanks for being here virgo lots of love take care peace be the journey of life twenty three libra twenty three i am the number of i am we all have the i am the power of i am there's a an old video by neville goddard um the power of I am. It's worth watching. And considering that number came up and I said that to you, definitely worth watching, Libra. <gasps> what was that one? try to escape okay work the work card again supported by the eight of swords so that's two eight so that's 88 so go and look up the master number 88 okay ten of pentacles in your present energy so you are in the energy of abundance and a beginning and a beginning in something possibly something mysterious possibly something that you weren't aware of in the past you are in a place that you never thought that you could be in spiritually that's the message I'm getting the past is dead done and over, over with Hmm. Okay. So these two eight, eighty-eight. You might not have been aware that you were working on something as hard as you were. You might have thought, I'm getting this message, 
you might have thought that you were just watching videos on YouTube, not thinking it was having any impact, but you were learning all the time. I'm, and I'm getting it, so I'm saying it. You were watching movies and not realising you were learning things as well. Take that message as it resonates. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I mean, Kapow, Kapingi, Kajanka. Six of Pentacles, one of my favourite Pentacles cards, and peace. Because that abundance in your present energy is going to continue into your future and you are going to be philanthropic, share the, share the abundance, spread the wealth, and it's going to bring great peace. Not just to you, but to all mankind. Those are the words I'm getting, so I'm saying them. Okay? Because something is dead, done and over with. The past. The past is dead, done and over with. Okay, thank you, Libra. Thanks for being here. Lots of love. Peace be the journey of life. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not going to be able to get it done in half an hour, but close. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, you just got two eights on the cut, but not the two eights that Libra had. You just got the eight of cups and the eight of wands there. Eight of cups, eight of wands. Interesting. So the other 88. And I thought that I should uh, tell you, was it Libra or was it Virgo? Duh. You might have to just watch back. I saw a rainbow this morning. It was hidden. It's one of those hidden ones. Hidden in the clouds. Wow. She's got two eights on the cut and another eight. And I think that is referring to the number 888. Okay, Scorpio. What does 888 mean to you? Judgment. So the universe has made a decision on something. In the past past energy nine of wands ace of swords so I'm getting the word wounding you're not feeling too great at the minute Scorpio I'm getting that but let's see let's see what the future energy is unknown oh we like surprises unknown you're going to be building something you're going to be building something and it's unknown to you building a career a new career and it's unknown to you at this point in time this is why you've had to go through this 888 type energy of being worthy for this thing that's coming in Wow, and there's the other eight again that we saw on the cut. So if we're including the two cut cards, which were 88, we've got 88 here. So we've got 8888. Eight, eight, eight. So maybe go look that number up. I'm not saying go and look it up because I don't know what it means. I'm saying go and look it up to see what it means to you. I know what it means, but I want you to know what it means, okay? I always say that with master numbers because we're, these are just tarot readings. These aren't the workings of, you know, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> the workings of fingers moving around. <laughs> okay.
I'm not funny. I know, I know, I know. Someone saying, God, he's not funny, is he? And he thinks he's funny. I don't think I'm funny. I never have ever thought I was funny, ever. In fact, quite the opposite. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was a final thing for you there, Scorpio. What was I saying about building a foundation, a building, a new job, a new career, a new... You have been called to something. This totally correlates with the 8888. Okay? The world is calling you, Scorpio. Thanks for being here. Take care. Lots of love. Peace be the journey of life. Okay, we crossed the half hour mark and we've got three left. Whew. Wow, I love these sort of speed readings. Gets me amped. Ooh. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay. Wow, you got the sun, Sagittarius. Why, why? Wow. Okay, so you got this awakening. You got this calling. You got this inner thing. This inner knowing. Inner knowing. Help. It helped you, or gave you the signal to walk away from things that no longer serve you whatever those things are. Empress in your current energy. The girl boss of the deck, the mother of the tarot. Success, I'm getting on that Empress. You are, you have always been, so you have always been in a position of success Success just comes to you very easily, Sag. Um, but sometimes, through that success, you have felt quite down. But to onlookers, it looks like, wow, she's so successful. He is so successful. Okay? Communication coming in about a new thing. Yep, travelling away overseas. I think you know what that might mean. At speed. I'm seeing a plane. Coming up in your future. So on this on this walking away from things that no longer serve you, I am also getting that you've been very successful and it's very good. And you do love what you do. You do have passion for it. But I'm saying it. I'm getting it. You have become a little bit bored with it, is, is what I'm getting. Now, don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't be... Just because your job might be a dream job, it's, you are allowed to become bored with it, especially if it's been something that you've been doing for years. So don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. I mean, I wouldn't go telling everybody, but um, yeah, that's a very natural feeling. Just, I pulled any random card from the middle of the deck and it was the magician. Okay, Saj? You have manifested this. This is what you are wanting. Doesn't mean to say it's gonna be easy. But you're going to love it. Okay, Saj. Thanks for being here. Lots of love. 
Take care. Peace be the journey of life. Capricorn next. Wow, that's the first time I've ever had Capricorn 1 poking into my mind when I've said Capricorn. Interesting. Okay, Capricorn, so I'm getting this Wounded Warrior energy coming up. You walked away from this Wounded Warrior energy in your past. You pulled your socks up and you decided, I'm not having that, that isn't for me. Current energy, Ace of Pentacles and, ooh, what we got here? Hmm. Ace of Pentacles, the world, Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. So Capricorn, you are Earth. I think this, there's a fire sign that you might know or might be coming in that is a key. That has a key for you. Is the key to something. Okay, your central energy. This is good. This is a good energy to be in. Ace of Pentacles and the world. So I'm getting it on that world this time. Multiverse. Timeline shifts. Parallel universes. You might have just made a shift or a shift might be coming up. You are in the energy of shifting. Now it's the 2-2 portal tomorrow, isn't it? The 2nd of the 2nd, 2022. 20, so two 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 zero two two. I mean, how many twos do we need? <laughs> I mean, that's as many twos as you can really get until it's twenty two, twenty two. Until two centuries from now. So that might be big, because I know that some people who watch a lot of tarot readings really give a lot of credence to the number two. So there might be something quite big for you there, Capricorn. Okay, but yeah, definitely walking away from this energy. This wounded warrior being left out in the cold, being subjected to. It's coming in, so I'm saying it. I'm not stopping myself from saying things these days anymore. The book of Job. I'm not religious. It's got nothing to do with that. But being subjugated to some sort of trial being left out in the cold in that way okay Capricorn let me just oh yeah wow just literally the 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 time warp card exactly what I was saying about timeline shifting just a random card from the middle of the deck okay okay Capricorn I love it when that happens because it's so real <laughs> Okay. And last but not least, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. We got our first three. Okay, let's see what they are. Past, Six of Pentacles, Present, Hanged Man, 
future. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. We haven't seen the Hangman yet, or the Wheel of Fortune. So, interesting. Just for you, Aquarius. I love the Six of Pentacles. You have been very sharing, caring, giving in your past. You have been learning in your present and are still learning. And this is leading to the wheel turning in your favour in the future. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Another three. Okay, so yes, with this card comes this card. Ace of Cups. So being, what did I say? Being generous, sharing, caring, loving. Sharing love. With this card, this energy, the hanged man, we have the lovers. Wow, he is going to, she is going to drop in your lap. That's what I'm getting. Unexpectedly. Now, I know this is showing up in the current energy position, but I am getting the feeling that this has not actually happened yet, but they are going to drop in your lap unexpectedly. And we've got two cards for underneath the Wheel of Fortune. Justice and Temperance. Now the reason these two cards are grey, the reason I use the colour grey, is because grey is the middle ground between black and white. That grey area. So not one extreme or the other. And obviously that's what we get from justice, balance. The card of balance the energy of balance and temperance balance so real balance coming up in the future okay Aquarius let me just because I have done for some wow I've cut the deck right in the middle and you've got the magician as well now who got that I think it was Sagittarius okay so you have manifested this. <sighs> Things are going to be great. Doesn't mean there aren't going to be difficult times ahead, of course. Because life is like that. Otherwise it would be boring. Wouldn't it? Really? But you've got some great things coming in there with the magician. Hangman, the lovers justice and temperance okay take where cream no I'm not editing that out I, I actually don't anymore I don't edit anything I haven't for ages um wow the amount of birds that just flew past the window as I said that um now I could but the reason that I don't is actually time constraints. I'm 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 really quite busy with uh, quite a lot of things. Um, but equally, raw. Let's have it raw. Let's have it real. I mean, most people can't talk for like forty-five minutes without tripping over one word, or two, or possibly three, six, or nine. Can they really? So keep it in. Keep it in. It's real. 
it's real. We are living in the real. The past illusions are gone. This is the real. Okay? Illusions of the past are fading. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Please don't take me away. <laughs> okay, lots of love. Lots of love to everybody. If you watch the whole way through, which I strongly encourage that you do, which is why I do it so fast for every single sign, because there might be something in there for you for from a sign that you're not expecting. Even if you already know your sun, moon, and your rising, do you know your sun, moon, and rising in the sidereal? Do you know all your placements? Did you realise that there were things to do with the sign that you didn't expect that might come up for you? So I do encourage, even though I didn't say it right at the beginning, but I'm hoping that you will just intuitively know, maybe I should watch every sign, okay? Now that is known as cross-watching. I don't, I don't really see it that way, personally. Because I don't, if I'm watching a tarot reading, I'm not going to a sign of a person to find out what they're thinking about something because the energy can be reversed. So you might actually be getting your energy on a different sign because you're watching that. So it's very betwixt and between. Like the number eight. But I thought I'd just say that there at the end. I thought I'd just uh, give you that bit of info. But lots of love, guys. Lots of love. Peace be the journey of life. May the force be with you, always. Take care. Goodbye and God bless. Click. Grab it, though. Oh,